The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, They repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God, what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this does not look so good. How are you, old buddy? (laughs) Big L.A., I I can't hear you. Could I take the bag off? Okay. It's not so good, is it, buddy? Can you can you tell me what's going on? They made fun of you. They made fun of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Said I was ugly. Said you were ugly. Oh, Big Al, I'm I'm sorry. That's not nice. It's not. And the other way. Well, I always think about that for myself. The way I think of it is that I am facially challenged. Sounds better. Sounds better? Well, good. Mm -hmm. And Big L, anyway, it really doesn't matter what we look like on the outside. No, no. God sees what's inside a person. God sees the beauty that God put inside of every person. Look. Well, well, Big Al, it's not like I can see it that way. God just sees into your heart. Whoa. And you might have been called some other names, but I know a name that God has for you. What? God would say, you are, yeah, beloved. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Me. Mm-hmm. You know, Big L, people can call us names, but they can't take away the name that God gives us. God, who knows that there's goodness inside of every person. God, who would call us beloved. Okay, I will. Bye. Big Al reminded me, boys and girls, to encourage you to be careful and kind with the words that you use. And, that's right, and, if anybody ever calls you any bad names, I'm sorry, you don't deserve that. But may you remember that God thinks you're amazing. That God sees deep in you and knows that deep down you are good. And God just loves you a ton. Mm -hmm.